Hi all. Well, you might wonder what you're looking at. Yes, of course. That's little goat berries. Okay, so what we're doing today is even though these look pretty darn normal, here, let me shake them for you. They make a nice sound. Oh yeah, just like a rattle. Like a little baby's rattle. So, um, Truly Scrumptious has been um, coughing in the morning. She's the only one. So I thought, let's get a little bit of a fecal sample. So first you're gonna need, of course, goat poop. Then you're going to need fecal solution. You're going to need a little pipette. You're gonna need a micro uh, microscope slide. And of course the cover slip. And if you don't drink tea regularly, this is what you can use your strainer for. And after you've had your frozen yogurt, you can keep this and use it to smoosh little goat berries. Okay, I'm going to start off on a 4, then I'll work up to a 10. Let me show you. 10. Okay, and then it'll go up to a 40. And what I'm going to be looking for is um, worm eggs. All right. Um, this has been sitting around for a while, so I'm going to want to give it a really good shake, okay? Maybe even turn it upside down! We're not going to do it all again. So, I'm going to put in here, open her up, okay, I'm going to take first my little Shrek glass, okay, there you go, see? Okay, I'm gonna put a couple little guys in here. There, look at them fall in there. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, then I'm going to pour this guy in. Okay, so you can see I have poured the fecal solution into this cup, okay? So then what I'm going to do is just mush, mush, mush. You can see I've been uh, mushing. I still have a lot more to mush. Uh, this is where the smelly part comes in. It's really starting to smell now. Okay, still stirring. I'm really close now. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna take this cup and I'm going to pour my little slurry into through here into there okay and then i'm gonna mush it with my little uh, frozen yogurt spoon okay okay as you can see i started pouring okay and it's going through all right and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna mush this down through there okay i need my other hand all right it's gonna come flopping right into my face i betcha okay now, you might be wondering why I'm treating this like a fine tea. Well, I'm wanting to get out all the little barnyard stuff, you know, all the grains and the hay that they eat. And so, you know, I've been putting it over here. And you see there's a little left over here in this part. But then what I'm left with is this, okay? And it looks like really dark roast coffee. And um, I'm going to let this sit for five minutes. This is fecal solution. This fecal solution will let all the eggs rise to the top. Where then we're going to take our little tiny pipette. And we're going to put a little onto our slide. Okay, we're going to suck some up from the top, okay? From the top of our coffee. We're going to just suck a little bit up because they're all gonna be resting right there on the top. Okay, so be back in five. A little messy, but I have to tell you, I just love when I take these slides out. I feel like I'm like Madame Curry or something. Maybe she started off like this, okay? We just got a little bit more to wait, okay? Be patient. I put these kind of on the side here. It took me about probably 30 minutes maybe to get a just that cover slip there. 
just one, okay? Because, I don't know, they're just so little and everything. They just stick together. Okay, so I'm going to take my little pipette and directly over the top, Okay, I am now going to place it on my slide. Oh, it looks like I need a little more. Okay. There we go. Now that's a healthy looking one, doesn't it? Okay. So, go ahead. There we go. I squirted the rest out. And I'm gonna put this little baby cover slip all over the top. Okay, here we go. There. Okay. And I place it right here. There we go. Sorry about that. I'm gonna place this guy right here. Okay. Aha. Okay. Gonna put my clips on. Gonna put the power on. Okay. Just gives me a little bit of light underneath there. Okay. And we'll see what we can see. Okay. So here you see we have a guide to the internal parasites of ruminants. And from looking under the microscope, it looks like truly has strongyloids, which you'll see here on the bottom row, second to the left. Also, I saw barber pole worms, which is in the first row to the left in the center, and then the disgusting lungworm, Dicticolus. Ew. Now, the thing is, is that goats all have parasites. They all have worms. And how sometimes they get overloaded by worms is by stress. That can be from uh, go kidding. It can be from another goat moving to a new home come, or another goat coming in. It can be a goat changing feed. It could be the temperature change. So many different things. They could have gotten scared on something and it just threw their system into a quandary. So um, I'm going to treat her with the safeguard that I have. Now, I bought that bottle when we first got goats, but now I'm thinking I'm gonna go an herbal route that Fiasco Farms has an herbal remedy that I have spoken to Grassy Acres up in Door County in Wisconsin that they use and they've had great success. So, but this is what I have in hand and I just never got around to buying the other one. So I'll try this. Um, I will then again administer it in 10 days. Okay, well, turns out that Truly has strongle worms. And so I'm gonna give her safeguard. And back here on the back, it says 25 pounds because she is only seven months old. So I am going to give her 0.6 mLs, which is the same thing as cc's, by the way. I will be giving that to her orally. I'll then repeat that in 10 days. So. Of course, I have to put it on my calendar. All right. Oh, hi, Lulu. Yes, we're here. We are trying to. Uh, I'll bring up. Oh my goodness. Okay, I need 0.6, and you can see here I've got more than 0.6. So I'm going to bring that down. Okay. Slowly push. There you go. And. Probably a little more than that. Do, 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 do. It could be all day here. And I think that's about perfect because do you see where the black is on there? Okay, so put that on tight. All right, here we go. So this is the goat in question. Hello, goat. This is truly, what did you got stuck on you? Okay, so I'm just gonna go like this. I'm gonna stick my finger in the corner of her mouth to open it, and then I'm just gonna shove it right down. See, there, yummy, yummy, yummy. 
See, she didn't mind that at all. See, truly is going to feel better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, she even wants you to go to There you go. Okay, and that's it. So now, 10 days later, we're going to come back, right? Yeah. And we're going to give her another 0.6. Bésame. Bésame mucho. Como si fuera esta noche. Thank you.